Hi everyone, my name is Akshya Kaure. I am a nature and animal communicator which means I can speak to plants, animals and other species and have two way conversations with them. In one of my previous videos, someone commented and asked what to do if the information that you have received from the animal is contradictory to the feedback that the human has shared with you. And in this video, I am going to share a few things that I personally do in such situations. Remember that these are not the only things that can be done and these are not even the things that may work for everyone. I am sharing my personal experiences with you. If it works for you, excellent. If not, you will have to explore your own ways to understand what works for you to handle such situations better. So in case that an animal has shared something with me and the human has something contradictory to share, the first and first thing that I do is I would cross check with the animal. Recently, I spoke to a dog who wasn't feeling too well and upon asking him about it, he shared with me heaviness around the chest region. When I shared the communication with the human, they responded that in the meanwhile, they had taken him to the vet and there was an issue around his uh, anal region and that there was some problem and therefore he was not eating since he was not able to pass tools properly as well. So what I did was I went back to the animal and I asked him and he said that according to him, that was not the root cause of what has happened to him and that he has detached himself from his uh, physical body in a way that he cannot, he does not want to uh, feel uncomfortable or feel the pain that he otherwise would have gone through. And therefore, the heaviness in the chest because he was a little anxious about what is happening and he was also finding it uh, difficult to deal with the discomfort that his medical issue is causing him. So, this is something that he shared and I shared it with the human as well. The next thing that you could do is ensure that you are separating what the animal has shared versus what you may have projected as well. For example, sometimes the animal may share something with you and for you to make it more sense, you may add something else to it. So if your animal, for example, has shown you a lawn or a garden, you may add meaning to it and say that the animal likes to go to the garden, right? But it may not be necessarily what the animal has shared. So in such cases, differentiate and isolate the information the animal has shared versus what you may have added on to it. For this also, you may go back to the animal and cross check as to what the animal wishes to share with you. And if at all there has been uh, a mistake from your end, a projection from your end, don't hesitate to acknowledge it, apologize to the animal and to the human as well. I hope you found this video helpful and the next time you have such an issue, I hope these tips help you as well. If there are any other things that you do to handle such situations, please comment in the comment section below so that we can all learn from each other. Until the next video, bye-bye.